Okay, folks, so I've brought some video into my sequence. And let's go get another kind of video here. I want to show a little bit of the, about the flexibility of this. So this is some some uh, quick time video that I shot with. I see it's got a dot mov is what the uh, it's what the uh, extension is there. And this is some stuff I shot out in my yard. It might be a flower. We got some flower. I shot this with a with just a regular lens with a D thirty two hundred. I'm trying to get it in focus, and there it gets into focus. Let's say I decide I want to use that. I'm gonna click an endpoint here. I'm gonna hit play. See, I'm going in and out of focus a little bit. Ah, oh, darn it, this is not such a great, there we go, now it's, that's a little better. So here's really where I want to maybe come in, right here, right? And now I'm going to hit play, I'm going to watch what I got. And I only wanted a couple seconds of that, so I'm going to do an out point. I'm going to drag this flower down in here where I have the uh, car. And let's, let's see, so I'm showing here that we can use QuickTime movies, they import just fine as well. And I'm going to go down and get a garden shot here that is an MTS. This might have my cat or something in it. I don't know. We're looking at more flowers. I guess I was looking for bees or something in this. And there probably are some bees flying around on this. I, I just clicked my end point again. I hit play. I'm going to say, yeah, okay, I kind of like that. That's a rose of Sharon bush that's out in my front yard. That's my house behind it. So I'm going to click the out point here and I'll pull this down as well. Now, of course, this is not all that we would do with editing, right? We might decide, hey, you know what? This video needs to be over here. All you got to do is grab it and pull it. And now there's different ways you could pull it. Like right now, you're going to have black right here, right? Because you got no video. You either pull this video here, or here's a little trick I like to use. It's called, it's called ripple delete. Now, this, this is important if you have, let's say you had one, two, let's say you had 15 video clips here and you decide you don't want to use a clip anymore. You don't want to grab it and pull. There's different ways you could, you could, you could, pull a little box over all the all 15 of them and you can pull them back like this the easiest way to do this though is just is just to go into the blank place and and right click and do ripple delete and it pulls all your video back so ripple delete's a cool little uh shortcut to know you just right click in between it can i can here i'll mess it up again or something you right click in here ripple delete and it pulls it all back into nice sequence there so let's do a little bit of of uh arranging here so let's say we want this we're going to show flower we're going to show this then we're going to show the football field okay and but let, but we want some some transitions to happen in between this right and uh, we're going to do some effects and show you how to do some color grading and all too but let's say we want instead of this being a hard cut i'm going to hit play over here now first of all i should explain a little bit a little more clear about this this is where we edit and and kind of cut our clips right and bring bits of our clips down this is where we're seeing the timeline. So this is, are, it equals this. These are this. When you right click on or double click on something here, this will come over and, and you're, then you're able to pick your clip. This is wherever you are here. So this ultimately is your project, right? This, this equals this. So let's, oh, we were talking about transitions. I'm going to kind of fold a few things up here so I can see. That looks nice and neat. Let's say we want these things to cross dissolve. Let's say we don't want them to be a hard cut as we hit play there. It's right now it's just a jump cut. It's what it's called or a hard cut right there on that little line. Let's go over here to the effects and we'll be going back and forth to the effects a good bit. I'm going to type in cross, C-R-O-S-S. -S. Cross dissolve. And what it does, anything that's got cross in it that's an effect like iris cross and some of these other things, cross zoom and stuff, these are these will come up as well. But this is, it's it's got this yellow around it. Uh, this is a uh, accelerated type um, effect, which means it uses really good software uh, acceleration. It's also one of the most used dissolves ever is the cross dissolve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag that cross dissolve right onto the line between that. Now let's zoom in. How do we zoom in to see if we if we got our edit just the way we want it? We grab this little corner right here, right, and you just pull, and then that zooms everything in for you. Now, I try to get the cross dissolves right between the two. Sometimes you'll mess up and you'll do a cross dissolve here and it'll end up like right that, like that, and it doesn't go on this one. It still will work. It just might not cross dissolve exactly where you want to. See what a cross dissolve is there? One dissolves into the other. I typically like to get, I, I like to know where I want to cut, and then I try to get my cross dissolve right in the center of that, and usually it will snap to it, right? It snaps right in there. So now if we, if we preview this, I'm gonna hit play, and there it crossed right into that one. Okay. Now, let's talk a little bit more about effects. There's all kinds of different uh, uh, transitions. Now, if you, if you want to like explore all different transitions, 
get rid of your cross here so there's nothing in here. And then you can go and you start looking at video transitions and you should go right here and it'll show you a whole bunch of different transitions that come with it. A lot of these I think are kind of honestly a little, I don't, I don't use many of these. You can, you can use all kinds of them. Cube spin is one I like to use. I kind of like to use cube spin to denote that time has passed. And we'll look at what a cube spin does here. Just watch this as it goes through. So a cube spin, just, you know, it, it, it flips over from one to the other. Now let me bring up a point here. Like well, this cube spin is a good way to show it. Let's say that cube spin happened pretty fast, didn't it? Okay, let's say I don't want that cube spin to happen that quickly. I'm going to zoom in. And once again, the area you zoom into depends on where this red line is, where you've drugged this to. So how I'm doing it, I'm just going here, I'm left clicking, I'm dragging left and right on this right. So if I want to zoom into this area, I will go here and I will zoom in and there we go. Let's say I want that cube spin to last a little longer. I don't want it to happen so fast. You can just hover over the end of it, left click on it, pull it out and see what's happening there, it's expanding. So that just gave more time, it dedicated more time to that cube spin. So now if I hit play, watch what happens, it'll go slower, much slower cube spin now. So there you go, you're doing some effects. Uh, let's zoom back out for a second.